Hello everyone and welcome to this in-depth comparison of three of the most popular Linux distributions Debian, Ubuntu and Fedora Whether you are a developer, system administrator or a newcomer to Linux Choosing the right distribution can greatly impact your workflow In this video, we will explore each distro's philosophy, release cadence, package management, desktop environments hardware compatibility, community support, and ideal target audience. By the end, you will have a clear understanding of which distribution best suits your specific needs. Let's first start with the project philosophy and sponsorship. Debian Community-driven and free software focus Debian is entirely community-driven and guided by its social contract. It strictly includes only free and open source software in its official repositories. Although non-free contributions and non-free sections are available if you need proprietary drivers or firmware. Its primary goal is stability and reliability, making it a top choice for servers, desktop needing rock-solid performance and embedded devices. Now about the sponsorship. Debian is not commercially backed. Instead, it is funded through donations and the Debian project leader's oversight. This independence ensures that package inclusion decisions are made solely by volunteers and developers without commercial pressures. Now, Ubuntu. Commercially backing by Canonical with a focus on user-friendliness. Ubuntu is a Debian derivative, sponsored and maintained by Canonical Limited. It aims to deliver a polished, user-friendly experience for desktop and server users alike. While Ubuntu adheres to open source principles, Canonical incorporates proprietary drivers, example NVIDIA, Broadcam, more seamlessly, making hardware setup smoother for newcomers. Ubuntu's commitment to ease of use is evident in its installer, software center, and snap package ecosystem, which simplifies application distribution and updates. LTS versus interim release.